Hi guys and welcome to episode three of the hunt for the UK's greatest driving roads. Today you join us in the Yorkshire Dales National Park, a truly beautiful part of the UK actually. Haven't really traversed too much of this area before we filmed the odd video around here, but I'm really interested to explore it a bit more. We're going to be heading over to the Butter Tubs Pass. Again, not really driven that, so I'm really looking forward to it. As you can see, I'm in my 1989 E30 Touring. I'll link the playlist above for that if you're new. And if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and drop the video a like. It helps us massively, really helps to get the videos out there and reach more people. So we'd really, really appreciate that. Anyway, let's take a look at the route. I've got a decent one planned for today, so I'll walk you through that now. Okay, so we've got the good old analog map back once again, and we're gonna be looking at the route. You can see Richmond here. This is where we basically came through. It's quite a nice village actually, but you know, it's quite busy around this part. We are now just outside Reeth, which is where our route's effectively gonna start from. We're gonna head down this road here, through Gunnerside to Muka, and then you can see here, we've got the butter tops marked off, this road that comes down here towards Hawes. Again, it's a pretty nice place, and we'll probably dip in there should be about lunchtime actually, so we might see if we can get any food down that way. And then on the way back from Hawes, we're going to come on this upper road here, not the orange one, but the one just slightly above it, through places like Askrig and down this way, down towards Redmire. And then we'll come just over a little bit again. You can see this road that heads up this way. So we're going to join that road and come back up here. Again, this looks like pretty good scenery from what I've checked out. Also looks like a decent driving road. Seems like there's a bit of a chicane going on there and then back up towards Reeth, and that'll basically mark the end of the route. Having said that, this road, basically from Richmond up to Reeth, is actually really good. Uh, we didn't film it on the way here, but on the way back, we'll definitely film that. So yeah, that's pretty much the route. Um, I think it should be about two hours of driving. Obviously, it's gonna take us longer because we're gonna be filming stuff, but yeah, it gives you an idea of the length. I think it's about 60 miles. So I think it's about time we hit the road and get on with it. So you join us then at the base of the Butter Tubs Pass. We've just come through Muka, I think it is. That road that we did uh, out from Reeth is actually quite good. It's not the sort of fastest driving road you've been on, but there's some technical bits and the scenery is really, really nice. So you can probably see it's quite a steep bank here. I'm putting a lot of faith in the handbrake of this E30, but don't worry, it's also in gear. We're gonna be climbing quite steeply and you can kind of see around me just, we're in a pretty big valley here actually, but the views are really amazing. So I'm hoping the roads develop a bit. We're gonna stick a camera on the front, get some exhaust sound for you. Hope you enjoy the road.
Okay, so here we are then, at pretty much the top of the Buttertubs Pass. I hope you enjoyed the footage, did a bit of a POV drive there as well. And yeah, it's a pretty nice place, I'll say that. The road is just brilliant. This has to be one of the best driving roads in the UK, hands down. I can't believe I haven't actually driven it before. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of sort of nice, twisty technical bits, some elevation changes, but it's quite open and flowing as well. So it's not kind of too closed in. You feel like you can get up some speed in areas and that it's slow in some areas as well. So it's a really good mix overall. Anyway, it's pretty cold here. So we're gonna jump back in the, in the car and head down the hill into Hawes. So you join us now just a little bit outside of Hawes, we just dipped into there for some lunch. Uh, there's plenty of places to eat actually, so it's a pretty good stop. Anyway, I'm going to just show you the map now because I need to give you an update kind of where we are and where we're going from here. So just as a bit of a reminder, we started basically outside Reeth, we came down this road through Muka, up to basically Thwaite, then we came across the butter tubs and down into Hawes, and now we're just kind of coming back up this way on this road here. So as like I said before, it's not on this orange road, it's kind of like the smaller road above it. And it's going to go through places like Askrig, down this way through to like Redmire. And then we're going to come across to here and where this junction is just near Preston under Seer. We're going to head up here up to this road up to Grinton. And then that basically marks the end of the loop. And then from there, we're going to head back towards Richmond. So you'll probably see a little bit of footage of that. Cause like I said, that is a pretty good road actually. So yeah, anyway, we're going to try and kind of power through this bit. I don't think there's going to be too many great driving roads, but the scenery should be pretty good. Okay, so here we are. That pretty much marks the end of our route. We're about six miles outside of Richmond. We've just come back down that Whipperdale Bank Road and we're back on the road to Richmond, as I say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this video out with some shots of this road. Cause as I mentioned earlier on, it's actually a really nice road. So yeah, how do we think the Yorkshire Dales compares to places from the first two episodes? Well, in episode one, we went to the North Pennines. I kind of mentioned this in episode two, but that's a very sort of bleak part of the UK. The scenery is pretty amazing. There's some fantastic roads and it's a very quiet area. So it is great for driving. The North York Moors is busier. The roads are a little bit narrower in places, so it's not as good. But overall, the Yorkshire Dales has been a much more balanced place. We've had some good driving roads. Some bits are open and flowing, some bits narrower, but there's still good scenery. So yeah, overall, I really think the Yorkshire Dales is a fantastic place to go. If you're after some driving roads, the Buttertubs Pass is brilliant. You go really high up and the views from there are amazing, but there's some nice sort of twisty technical bits as well. And actually that bit from Hawes through to the Whipperdale Bank Road is really good. I actually said earlier on, I didn't think it was going to be that great, but having driven it, there's some brilliant little roads down there. Quite open and flowing like some of the earlier bits are, but yeah, well worth a trip. So yeah, that marks the end of this video. Let me know where you think we should go next in episode four. Um, we've got a few ideas planned, but I'd really appreciate it if you can comment down below. Uh, sort of if you've got any ideas any places that we should go and check out and also let me know what you thought of the Yorkshire Dales too so anyway that marks the end of this video thanks very much for watching I'll see you in the next one